So the third question uh, today is as follows. Are you not risking being too universalistic in your thinking about humans? That is, social attachment that's fundamental to all humans. How would you account for people who find pleasure in being alone, even being a hermit, if depression is caused by separation? Not everyone is that sociable and needing of attachments. In fact, some people need their own space. An introvert and extrovert have very different responses to the same cause. For example, being alone on a Friday night. This cause has the effect of making the introvert happy. Excellent, some me time. The same cause has the effect of making the extrovert miserable. I should be out there doing things with other people. Can you account for profound individual differences? Okay, so um, the, there are two aspects to uh, answering this question. The first is to point out that being alone is not the same as being separated. Um, uh, even, even little ones are happy to be alone um, if that's w w what they want to be. Uh, it's the separation distress happens when you want the presence of your caregiver, of your love object, as they call it. Um, and the, 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 the object that you need, the person that you need, the caregiver that you need is not available. Um, suddenly, gosh, where is she? You know, then you get the separation distress, panicky response uh, that leads ultimately, if reunion is not uh, achieved through the uh, searching and uh, separation distress calls, uh, then you get despair. That cascade is uh, triggered by the loss of an attachment figure that one doesn't want to lose. It's quite a different story uh, to, be, uh, to be alone. And in fact, in, in, in childhood, um, we see a, a relationship between these things that when the attachment um, is secure, in other words, when the, 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 the child uh, feels that the, it's not going to be uh, suddenly abandoned and suddenly find itself um, lost, uh, that makes it more capable of being alone and then exploring the world, that is to say seeking and playing in the world, which is so important for the development of all sorts of important things. So being alone um, is a capacity that we develop on the back of um, not being separated. So they're not the same thing, uh, although they do have a relationship to each other. So I hope that I'm being clear about that distinction. But there's something else which I think is also important to remember, and that is that us humans, um, we, we are not simple uh, you know, behavioral um, uh, devices. Uh, we have a very complicated internal world. Uh, we have a very complicated internal thought world, uh, the world of, the world of um, what psychoanalysts call fantasy. Um, it's a sort of an internal representational world that's there all the time. So that you can be in a relationship with an object, uh, if I can use the kind of terminology that they do, uh, without the object actually being present. Uh, you, and this, this is, in fact, not unrelated to what I said uh, earlier. You can internalize the presence of a safe, caring object. God, for example, uh, Jesus Christ, my prophet, uh, etc. You feel their presence. You feel that the, you feel they're keeping you safe and secure. And on that basis, on the basis of an internalized attachment, uh, you can be alone and be perfectly contented. So uh, the two points I'm making are, firstly, that separation is not the same as aloneness. And secondly, that behavioral aloneness doesn't mean psychological aloneness. That it's quite possible to be in a, a, a safe, secure attachment with some internalized figure um, when externally you appear to be alone. I want to insist, though, that the universalism that the questioner refers to really is applicable. There is a universal need in little mammals, us included, to form attachment bonds, and you break those attachment bonds, you see separation distress, and it follows the cascade that I've described from protest to despair. If that doesn't happen, there is something severely wrong um, with the animal or, or, or child in question.